Hey Zips fans, Chad Walker for the Zip Digital Network. Another update with women's basketball head coach Melissa Jackson as she recaps the Wednesday game against Bowling Green and takes a look at game two against Central Michigan tomorrow afternoon. I thought we played um, three really good quarters, you know, outside of the first quarter. I don't think we came ready to go. Um, I thought our energy was there um, in our prep and even in our, our pregame. Um, however, you know, we just didn't match BG's intensity right from the get-go. So um, hopefully we'll learn from that. Um, you got to come ready to go in this league uh, for four quarters. Uh, but was really pleased with some things that we did in the third quarter. Um, offensively, though, we still have to get better. Uh, we got to be able to push in transition. Uh, we got to be able to handle the ball. Um, so those are things that we're, we're constantly working on, and hopefully we'll be able to see some improvement on Saturday. Uh, two notes from individual standpoints. First of all, uh, Molly Neitzel got her first uh, career uh, start on Wednesday night against Bowling Green. And then what was it uh, that Bowling Green did to, to put a real big hole on Jordan Dawson? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Molly's earned it. Um, she's played really well uh, the last couple weeks, and uh, it was definitely some matchup involved in, in that as well. So I uh, was really happy with how she played. She continues to give us a lot of energy. Um, and I thought she did well, you know, in her first career start. Um, and then Jordan, you know, I thought, you know, Bowling Green did a really good job of keying on her. Um, really had like three people on her at times. Um, and so she's got to recognize that. We'll continue to watch film uh, with her on that. And uh, we'll try to space the floor a little bit better for her as, as we go forward. But um, again, she was in some foul trouble as well. But um, it's one game and I know she'll have a huge bounce back uh, starting tomorrow. Going into tomorrow, Central Michigan, this is the first time uh, you uh, have seen an opponent twice on the year. So um, obviously there's some take backs from the first time you played them. So what are some of the things that we may see that may be a little different from the first time up at Mount Pleasant? Yeah, and I told our group this is the first time we've, we've played Central twice in a year in a long time. You know, we, normally we usually have, have one shot at them. So um, it's been nice to watch the film, uh, see some of the things that, that we did really well. We, had, we played a great first half um, up at their place. Um, and then, you know, some things that we didn't do very well in the second half, um, you know, that we need to correct. So um, continuing with the game plan, making some adjustments, you know, that, that's really big in this league uh, with, with, you know, the talent uh, and the teams that we go up against every night. So um, I'm excited for tomorrow's opportunity, a second chance at them. Um, I know they're coming off, you know, three straight losses, um, which probably hasn't happened uh, much in their history. Um, so we're going to have to really uh, be ready to go for 40 minutes against a very good team. Thanks, Coach, and you can catch the game live on ESPN Plus at 2 p.m., the Zips and the Chippewas. Of course, you can also listen to the radio with Bill Morgan on 640 WHLO. You can also follow the Zips women's basketball team on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by following Zips WBB or Zips women's basketball on Facebook. For Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, let's have a great weekend, and as always, go Zips.